again on guys moxification here so uh for the start of this video i'm just going to tell you what you need um because i left some stuff out um for the actual video like i've already recorded it uh but anyway um so you're going to need utorrent to actually download the uh xdk uh the neighborhood itself uh and i'll leave a download for that as well in the description I'm going to leave the XDK setup that all uh, you'll find um, when the video goes on. Uh, you'll know what that is. Um, and then you'll get this other download and you'll know what that is uh, when you see the next part of the video. And you'll need uTorrent that I didn't explain you needed. Uh, you can just go to the website. It's uTorrent.com and then you click free download for Windows and then it downloads it. And then uh, you would basically open this uh, SDK, XDK thing, uh, neighborhood in uTorrent. Um, and then that would allow you to download uh, the uh, XDK. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, that's about it. Um, and the real video will start uh, now. So, yeah. Alright, what's going on guys? Moxification here. So, today uh, I'm going to show you how, how you can set up uh xbox 360 neighborhood um now uh it also is known as xdk um so i'm gonna call it that i'm gonna call it xdk um so uh i've already done a video on this i've already you know it was all good but i want to go more in depth you know i want to go really like uh, this video is probably going to be fairly long instead of the two minute video i made and then i'm going to try and make it a little bit more clear um than the initial one so uh, to start off uh, you're going to need to download uh three things uh in fact two things there's going to be two downloads in the description there's going to be one for a winrar file um and then there's going to be one for um uh the actual setup for xbox 360 neighborhood um so to start off um, you're going to want to download those things. Um, you're going to get these two files in one of the RAR files. You're just going to uh, put them on the desktop. Just open up the RAR file um, and put them on the desktop. Uh, then you're going to want, uh, well, if your desktop's clean, if it's not, maybe put it in a folder and then open the folder on your desktop. But uh, anyway, uh, you want to uh, get these on the desktop. Then you want to uh, actually run the... Uh, the xdk setup so the xdk setup is uh gonna be like uh let me let me find it hold on uh uh there you go xbox 360 here it is this is it um it will take a while to load if your computer's slow my computer's fairly fast and it still takes a while and it's here right now it will come up uh, i don't know if you can see this you probably can't but it basically says user account control and then it says do you want do you want this uh, program to make changes to your computer then you're going to click yes um and then it's going to come up with uh, this thing and you basically just want to go next all the way through it um and then you know it's going to say either sometimes it says minimum installation sometimes it says full installation or one of them or both of them you want to if you can do the full installation you want to do the full installation if you can't do it and it just says minimal it's fine uh, it just means you can't do certain things and sometimes other stuff doesn't install so then you click next again and it starts going through loads of things you know it starts installing some stuff i mean i've already done this um as you can see i've actually got neighborhood there already um but yeah so we're, we're just gonna wait uh for this to do its thing sometimes it takes a long time sometimes uh, sometimes it doesn't it should only take about maybe 30 seconds or so you know to actually do this copy thing uh and as you can see it's still it's actually done but you know it's still going through some stuff so here we go it's just you know finish and then that's it so finish um, I don't know what that is, I'm just going to exit out of that, uh, I don't know why that came up, but uh, yeah, so uh, I've got Neighbourhood now, uh, I mean I already had Neighbourhood anyway, uh, when you first open it up, it's going to be like, um, it's going to be blank, you know, I'll delete this because you know, um, it shouldn't be there anyway, but yeah, so uh, when you initially get Neighbourhood, it's just going to look like this, there's going to be add Xbox 360, and that's it, you know, there's going to be nothing else, um, just this so if you were to let's say your jtag was off and you click at xbox 360 um and you were to type in the ip or the name of the J uh, jtag so normally i type jtag next it's not going to find it you know 
because the JTAG's not on. Now, if the JTAG were to be on, then um, it would find it. Um, but uh, you need these two things on your JTAG. So what you want to do is you want to get a USB stick. Uh, you want to plug that into your computer, uh, as I've just done now. Uh, I'll wait for it to, there you go, it's loaded up, computer, um, there it is right there. Um, and then I'm just going to put this in the recycle bin just because uh, it, we want it to be clean. You want to stick these two files uh, on your removal, removable disk. Now to start off, uh, I'm just going to open the launch INI up to show you what it is. So it's basically like a notepad, but it's dot INI. And now this is uh, what's going to load every time you turn on your Xbox. So you basically add plugins. This is basically um, a dash launch. Uh, your INI is dash launch. Dash, dash launch is basically a way to edit your INI in like more of a sort of um, easy way, you know. But personally, I prefer editing the INI. So um, normally, you'd put your like your server if you're planning to go online on plugin one. Then you put XPDM on number two, and uh, the rest can be like RPC, JRPC, um, and all of those other types of uh, plugins, you know, or a GTA menu, something like that, you know. So uh, yeah, so uh, you're basically gonna put them on your USB, um, and you're gonna take your USB out of your um, uh, computer. Uh, you want to turn your JTAG on. Uh, I'm just going to do that now. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to actually open up the capture card uh, so I can carry on recording from my PC. So instead of having to actually um, uh, actually record from the PVR, I can just show it to you from the recording of the PC. Uh, so here we go. We're just going to move that down there so we can see everything. Uh, yeah, here we go. It's turning on now. Uh, you don't want to put your USB in your JTAG yet. You want to wait for it to turn on. If it's already on, that's great. Um, and obviously, you know, you're going to need to have access to XEX menu. Um, so, yeah, we're going to plug the USB into the JTAG now. Uh, normally, I actually wait till XEX menu is actually loaded up just because uh, sometimes it, ca it can freeze if the USB hasn't been recognized yet. Um, but no, nope, here we go, we're already on. Ah, it hasn't been recognized yet, as you just saw uh, right there. I'm just going to unplug it, and then plug it back in to make sure it gets recognized. Hopefully it should. There you go, there it is. It's now been recognized. Now, you want to basically copy the launch INI uh, from your USB stick to your hard drive, uh, and then paste it. And then you want to get your uh, the xbdm.xex. You're going to need to do both of these, and then paste it. Uh, they go on the root of your hard drive. Um, now, if you want to dashboard it, you can. Uh, I mean, you could just turn off your JTAG from there. Uh, but I like to go to the dashboard. Uh, you know, uh, and you can't when you're in uh, XEX menu. You, you can't just pr uh, click dashboard. Uh, you can't click Xbox Home. You have to go to um, something else like My Games and then click Yes. You know, like to actually go to it. Uh, or you could load up a game then dashboard it. Um, so yeah, um, so next, now you want to turn off your JTAG, uh, or RGH, you know, um, so yeah, uh, we're going to turn that off, uh, and then you probably want to make maybe like five seconds or so, maybe less than that, I don't know, and, and then just turn it straight back on, uh, you want to make sure the USB is actually out of the Xbox, because if the USB is in the Xbox, it could, um, sometimes when there's a USB in the front of an Xbox, it can give it, um, a temporary uh like red ring of death and you know it's not bad it doesn't do damage it's just if the usb is in there it tries to load everything from the usb and it does things and uh, it doesn't work so yeah you want to make sure the usb is out of the console uh so yeah um now we've loaded up uh now you what you want to do is you want to make sure your computer and your uh JTAG are on the same network. When I say that, I mean connected to the same um, internet. So right now I'm using my uh, Netgear router thing, uh, and both of them are connected. So my computer's connected wire, uh, wired, and my JTAG's connected uh, connected via wire instead of wirelessly. I'd recommend using a wire uh, instead of doing wirelessly because. 
Uh, J tags are not really supported with wireless. Like, um, yeah, I mean, people can do it, but you know, when it goes wrong, it goes wrong big time. Uh, so yeah, you know. Uh, but yeah, so if you need to do wirelessly, do wirelessly. But you know, you need to make sure they're they're connected to the same uh, internet um, network thing. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, uh, then you wanna go to add Xbox 360 um, and click next, and then you wanna type in. You can do the JTAG's IP, or you can type in JTAG. Now, me, I I type JTAG. Um, some people don't type JTAG, some people actually type in the IP, I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, to get the JTAG's IP, you actually go into XCX menu, you can do it another way. You can do it from um, Dash Launch and other things like that. But anyway, to get it from XCX menu, you go, um, you press LB, and then it takes you to this screen, and then it's IP address there, uh, right there, as you can see. And then you basically type that in, you type 192.168. Point O point uh, eleven, and you click next, and then it says, "Would you like to use this IP as the default Xbox 360 development kit?" So you click yes. You don't want to click no. You definitely want to click yes, and then next. Uh, unless you've got multiple JTAGs in your house and you want to set them all up, then whatever your main JTAG is, if you've got multiple JTAGs, I don't know why you would, but if you've got multiple JTAGs, whatever your main JTAG is, you'd want to click uh, yes for that and everything else no. Um, and then click finish. Uh, now it's connected. Now it's automatically gone to JTAG. So I'm going to delete it and then I'm actually going to add another one. This Well, I've deleted it from the neighborhood so it's not connected anymore. Now you want to click next and you can just type JTAG if you really want to. You can do it uppercase, lowercase. You could do it um, in a weird way, you know, like JTAG, you know. Do whatever you want with that. Play with it. Do whatever. I don't know. I don't know why you would want to. But there you go. Next. Uh, yes next finish and it's there now you're connected to neighborhood um, and now what you can do from that is you can transfer files like really really easily without having any problem you know I mean if your um, if your computer is really slow then it could be a problem and maybe it would be quicker to use a USB but uh, for me my computer is really fast and it loads really quick um, and I can transfer games and stuff, you know, and patches and whatever else, you know. Uh, so, yeah. And then also, if you need to, you can actually add um, different plugins, you know. Like, you could add some plugins into there and there and there. Uh, for me, I'm actually going to change it now. Uh, but, you know, you guys can do it later. You guys can do it whenever you want. Uh, and my actual uh, I, and I, I have um, nothing on the top one. Uh, in fact... I have perfect. I have a perfect setup for Xbox Live, um, XBLSE. So I'm gonna get my I and I right there. I'm gonna open it up, um, and then I will now. Uh, where is it? Uh, change it here. Remove that. Uh, backslash. There you go. And everything's there, so I can save that. And now I can place that onto my. Uh, the root of my hard drive uh, if you don't know where the root of your hard drive is um, basically when you click on this this is the root of your hard drive in here and the equivalent of that to XEX menu is this place uh, right here so I'll show you it's all the same you know like all there it's all up to date I scroll down as well on the JTAG you know but uh, yeah so that is about it uh, for this video I hope it helped the people who were having trouble with this um and i hope the voice was a bit more clear than the last one uh so uh yeah so the download for those files will be in the description um because you know you guys will need them the uh the actual xdk will be uh there as well the uh neighborhood will be there the download for that uh the setup for that uh that will take a long time it is something like it's something like 1.2 gig I think GB so you know it's fairly big but if you've got good internet speeds then it should be fine to download uh, but yeah so that's gonna be about it thanks guys Moxification and I'll see you in the next video uh, goodbye <laughs>